The Golly sisters bowed. Thank you, thank you, they said. The horse gives a show. I want the horse to dance in the show, said Maymay. No, Maymay, said Rose. The horse cannot dance. Give him a chance, Rose. Remember when we started? No one thought we could dance. No one thought we could sing. Maymay, the horse cannot dance. Trust me, Rose, you say, here is my sister, Maymay, and her dancing horse. The horse and I will, will do the rest. That night, Maymay got on the horse. We are ready, she called. Rose said to the people, here is my sister, Maymay, and her dancing horse. Let's go, horse, Maymay said. The horse did not move. Here is my sister, Maymay and her dancing horse. Rose said again, Come on, horse, said Maymay. The horse did not move. <sighs> Rose said, While we are waiting for Maymay and her dancing horse, I will sing a song. When Maymay heard that, she said, Giddy up! The horse moved. He jumped onto the stage. He jumped off the stage. Maymay screamed, Eee! The horse ran through the town. The horse ran out of the town. Well, that is too bad, Rose said. There will be no dancing horse. No Maymay either. But do not worry. I will do her songs and dances. Late that night, Maymay came back. She fell onto her bed. Sister, you were right, she said. The horse cannot dance. Maymay loses her hat. Maymay, are you ready? asked Rose. No, I am not, said Maymay. My song is in my pretty red hat, and I cannot find my red hat. I want, want me to go first, asked Rose. All right, but this makes me mad. It was my turn to go first. While Rose was singing... Mamie looked for her hat. When Rose came off the stage, Mamie was still looking for her hat. I want my hat, she yelled. Did you look under my bed? asked Rose. Why would my hat be under my bed? Mamie asked. She looked under Rose's bed. There was the hat. Now I am really mad, said Maymay. You hid my hat. No harm has been done, Maymay. You can sing now, said Rose. I wanted to sing first, 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 yelled Maymay. Stop, cried Rose. You are squashing my hair. Maymay, stop. Maymay stopped and looked at her hat. Rose, she said, first I could not sing because I could not find my hat. Now I cannot sing because I squashed my hat. My hair too, said Rose. Rose, said Maymay, please tell the people I will do a sad dance, the dance of the squashed hat. <laughs> people, said Rose. Here is my, here is... Maymay, and the dance of the squashed hat. Maymay danced. The people began to clap. Maymay turned to her sister. I forgive you, Rose, she said. I forgive you, too, said Rose. The Golly sisters are scared. It was a dark night. There was no moon. I hear something, Maymay said. Something is outside our wagon. What will we do, asked Rose. One of us will have to go outside, said Maymay. I heard the noise, so you go. Why should I go? Is your noise, it's your noise, said Rose. Do I have to do everything, asked Maymay. I am not going to go, said Rose. Then I'm not going to go either, said Maymay. Yeah. Yeah, yourself, said Rose. Maymay. 
Mei Mei set up. Remember our first show, Rose? Remember how we be fussed because you said I look funny in blue? Yes, I remember, said Rose. I re remember we fussed so long that everybody went home. Maybe we have done it again, Mei Mei said. I do not hear anything now, do you? I do not hear a thing, said Rose. Mei Mei said, Rose, we must never fuss again. Unless... Unless we hear something outside our wagon, Rose said. Rose, that is what I was going to say. You did not let me finish. Why did you say May May? Why did you say May May? What? Good night. Good night, Rose. And the moon came out, and the stars shone, and the Golly sisters fell asleep. The end. I hope you enjoyed that fun story.